What's up, everyone? Welcome back for another action-packed episode of Darth Thrifter. In this episode, we will visit many places, and one of those places is sales. I want to thank all 626 returning subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, if you are new to the channel, my name is Darth Thrifter. I am a part-time reseller on eBay and a part-time YouTuber on YouTube. This video... I broke my rule. I I did something. I'm not proud of it, but I'm happy about it. Before we get into that, um, we're going to talk about Poshmark a little bit. And we're also going to go over my sales. Um, so let's do it. Hear ye, hear ye. The Royal Court of Poshmark decree you no longer have to lower your shipping costs to ship. I don't understand um, the Poshmark culture. I don't want to understand it. It's a tiring, tiring platform. If you're not on there 24-7 sharing people's uh, closets, your closets, your items, following people, uh, it, sending offers, it, it feels ridiculously um, user intensive for really nothing in return. Now, granted, I don't have much on there. I got five, five items listed on there. But in the time that I have listed five items on Poshmark, I probably sold 10 items of clothing on eBay already. The, the thing, too, that I find annoying is when you do send an offer out, you not only have to discount it by 20% minimum, you, you had to also discount your shipping. Like, why? It makes no sense to to rake us over the coals more uh, for that possible sale. Done with Poshmark. It's just a spam website now or spam app on my phone. Not a spam banshee. Uh, but it does just literally pop up notifications all day long about people following me but there's never anything of use on there. I feel it's it's pointless to even have it anymore. Um, I'm not going to dwell deep into it, so what's the point? I'm not gonna be putting hundreds of listings on there. I mean, Curious Collections already said that they have like 100 of listings on, on multiple platforms, and they've gotten one sale. And I'm not willing to invest that much time and effort or even money if it costs to cross list this stuff to potentially get a sale or two here or there. I'd rather just fire sale something on eBay and, and either recoup my money or make some money in a fraction of the time. I know some of your thoughts are already on Poshmark and some of you probably don't even use Poshmark. Um, I'm, I, to be honest, I'd probably want to do my Kari even though that's a, 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 a hot mess to begin with. I'd probably choose Macari over, over Poshmark, but I'm choosing neither of them. Right now, I'm sticking with eBay because eBay works. It's still the best platform out there. Even if you hate eBay, um, you know, deep down in your soul, you still like it. And there's reasons why you still like it. It's okay to admit that eBay is still the best platform to sell on, even if you don't like things that they do. Um, my my take is uh, if you're going to be selling anything, I would check out uh, local sales, Facebook Marketplace. I think that's probably still the easiest and best route to go to unload stuff. A lot of people are looking on Marketplace now, not only for deals, um, for reselling purposes, but people want deals in their real life and they don't want to, you know, pay if extra shipping or whatever it takes to get it. Man, my dog is munching hardcore on food out there. That's okay. Stop it. Now that that's taken care of, let's get into the exciting news. Um, the reason why you guys tuned in. So let's go over the chart of sales and then we'll talk about it. All right. So guys, today, 
Today we had $223 of sales and I'm still waiting on one payment of another $60. So technically we'd be at about $285 for today, which is pretty amazing because that's usually what I get for an entire week on eBay, or at least what I have been getting. Now, the last seven days, we are at $813.46. The last 31 days, we are up 59.4% at $2,294.43. And let's see, the last 90 days, we're still hovering around that 5,000 mark. We're at $5,267.35. And now for the year, we have broken through the barrier of $7,000 of sales. We're at $7,141.70. So based on those numbers, you can see there's been a, a, a seismic shift in sales. You're going to say, wow, you did it. Darth Rifter, you know the way of non-promoted sales. Show me. Well, truth is, and you might be disappointed, I've reinserted myself into the promoted matrix. Now, if we go back to the beginning of this year, uh, the, the turn of the year, we went into January. And as a lot of you people know, January, the first 10 days for everyone was bad like i had nine zero sales days i have no idea what they were doing but i was promoting still it never changed and this is coming from last year where i was just selling 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 i couldn't even build my store inventory up it was selling so fast so then we went nine day nine days without a sale and then we started selling a little bit here and there and it was sputtering. And I know everyone else was having problems, but I tried all different promoted listings at that time from beginning of January to almost the end of February when I started non-promoting. So I went eBay recommendations, I went low, I went mid, high, I went sales, I tried everything I could and sales just stayed and, and there was no increase. I felt like it was the right time. So at the, what well, was it, February 23rd, I was like, this is the perfect time. I'm not getting sales. I'm, I'm struggling. And when I do make sales, eBay is still taking a, a bit of that money. So unless they're, they're giving me something in return, what's the point of promoting? So that's when I shut off promoted. And you guys, have witnessed my journey through my previous videos and if you are new to the channel go back and watch some of them you'll see some of my successes some of my failures around uh, getting rid of promoted listings um one thing i did prove you can still make sales you don't have to promote to make sales but it's it's difficult um and you will need to reset your store on a daily basis to have a shot to have a chance because Resetting your store will be your way of promoting. So, you know, things happen in life and, you know, I need to get new tires in my car and that, that all ended up being like a thousand dollars and my eBay sales, they started sputtering again, you know, end of April here. I felt like I was being throttled hardcore again by eBay and I probably was, you know, but I had reached a point where I was at times trying to get a sale so badly. I was doing a reset in the morning and if nothing would come my way, I would do another reset at night and then all of a sudden I'd get one sale. I'd be like, oh, thank God I got a sale. I got tired of, of living like that. Uh, you know, I know this is not my full-time job, but I do rely on this money, you know, to pay bills, to try to get ahead, to put some stuff for savings, to to have some semblance of a life besides just working for the man to to pay the bills and and uh, you know you know just live. I want to do a little bit more and just live. I want to live comfortably at, at bare minimum. So I I was really thinking about it. You know, I I felt kind of bad because you know a lot of people were looking up to me as like. 
oh, he's, he's doing it. He's sticking to his guns. And, you know, a few of you decided to jump on board and, um, try it yourselves. And literally like right after a, a few of you, like Carl and I think Patricia was doing it for a little bit. I, I felt guilty because as of the 20th of April, I turned on my promoted listings and everyone out there, not everyone, but a couple of people out there have started to do the non-promoted route. Now, some of those people know the, you know, what you get with that. And, you know, other people are trying it to, to spur some sales and, and I don't fault anyone for trying it. Um, and I hope at least my, um, experience helps you into those waters to, to wade the muddy waters, whether it's good or bad for you. Uh, it ends up in, in the long run, it's just not worth it to, to me, all the extra work I was putting into it. So let's look at this numbers here. I, I'm not going to put it on the board. You guys can trust me. You know, I'm not like uh, another YouTuber out there that says their lawyer has informed them not to tell you what they do for sales uh, on massagers and uh, other devices. Uh, I am full transparency. So if you guys want to see this, I'll throw it up on a, a post. But I think you guys trust my numbers. I've showed them plenty of times. But 20th through today, so the last seven days, Total sales for the week since I started promoting, uh, $897.64. So that's pretty good, guys. I mean, that's easily my best week of the year. And we did uh, 24 sales, and it will, will be 25 if I get that last payment of that guy. So we'll just say 25 sales in seven days. I mean, I don't know about you, but that is back to where I was. I want to get back to 75 sales minimum plus. And that's where I was last year. And that's when you can start to live comfortably. So there we go. $900 of the sales. Um, that's, you know, pre-selling costs and stuff like that. Um, taxes and fees collected by eBay, $55.34. Selling costs $268.15 and a total net sales that got deposited or will get deposited in my bank account, $574.15. Like I said, if I get that other sale, that's going to push us over the $600 mark for the week. And uh, I don't know about you, I would never complain about that. 24 items sold, like I said, average sale price of $37.40. That seems to be the... Uh, the hot spot, you know, right about $35 to $40, at least for me, my store. And uh, like I said in previ previous videos, if I'm selling stuff $35 on average per item, and I'm selling especially 24 items uh, a week, that's, that's pretty nice. Here's the other thing I want to show you guys. So um, average click-through rate with the promoted from April 20th till April 27th, it's 0.4 of uh, the click-through rate. That isn't monumentally different. I think it's slightly better, but not, not crazy. But this is where it does get a lot better. I was always hovering around 0.7 or maybe 0.9 at the very extreme. Sales conversion rate is up during this time period of 1.3%. Uh, or at 1.3% now, which that means I am actually selling things that people are going and looking at. The mix of impressions, um, I would say for now, it's about 50-50. Um, I've stopped doing a daily store reset, and um, I've been doing a rolling 200 reset, which reminded me, I didn't even do one today. Uh, but I did make three sales today, so I, I'm not too concerned. I'll, I'll do one tomorrow. But I switched to the Rolling 200. It's simpler, faster, and your products stay on the site longer. So it gives people that are interested in it a chance to purchase it, especially after you send an offer. Now, the one thing I noticed that you know you do suffer on sometimes when you do the nuclear reset every single day is you're constantly taking people, you know, sending an offer out 
and having watchers and if they don't purchase it like within the first 24 hours or, or anything like that they're gone except for those same people that are on your items that will watch it every single time i got this hard rock cafe bear my god this person has been watching this item now for months months every time i do a reset that boom right there right back there and i send out the offers and they never buy it they're just waiting and waiting because they, they know the price keeps going lower and lower i, I just i want to i want to know who it is send a message like just tell me what you want to buy it for and just just buy it i don't care anymore just get rid of it so page views um while they are up 9.2 percent total for the week um we still have a, a nice mix um mostly organic versus you know it's about you know 60 to 70 percent organic the the rest external and promoted so we're still getting a, a good mix like that and let's take a look at like quantity sold what the mix is for promoted versus is um what do you call it organic so for the week, we are up 140% in total quantity sold. Now, let's see. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So out of 24 sales, we had 14 organic and 10 promoted. So I will I would do that every day if it means I'm going to get 25 sales a week. I, I it's it's worth it, and I don't know if I told you what I'm actually promoting. I'm promoting back at what last year, um, what I found to be the sweet spot of all my different experimentations. I did 6.1 percent. For some of you, you might say, oh, gasp. You're paying eBay 6.1%. Well, underneath, I, I feel like if you go too low, there's really no point. It, it's, it doesn't have enough benefit. And of course, if you go too high, you're literally paying for nothing after a certain point. If you recall last year, I did a video, I think it was 6.1% versus eBay's recommendation. While eBay's recommendation was I think almost double what I did with my 6.1%. I was not comfortable paying. I mean, I think the average ad fee ended up being 11 to 12% for every item. And that's just way too much to pay. I would rather just wait a little bit longer for that item to be shown and then pay half of what eBay is recommending, rec half of what eBay is uh, recommending to you to promote it. I don't know if this is an active change or just happens to be the category, but looking at what eBay's recommendations are when I go through and I add my 6.1% in, a lot of categories were popping up as 8, 7, even 6% recommendation. So maybe they're, they're pulling back on some of those recommendations because you can't have every single category be... 11 to 24 percent recommendation i'm sorry i don't care what you're selling they it just cannot be that way for every category so maybe they're catching a little flack for that and they lower their number so it looks a little bit more realistic but there we go uh i wanted to give you guys an update on my store it is rocking um it is back to for now i i hate it when when youtubers are like I turned on my promotions and now I'm destroying eBay and you guys need to do it too. Otherwise, if you don't do it, you won't make sales. I'm tired of you guys crying about it. Um, no, it worked for me. It may not work for you and it may not work next week. But would I say I'm unhappy that I turned promoted listings on? No, I don't think anyone would say that uh, with this, the results that I had here compared to everything else. Um, it, does it suck I'm paying a little bit more in, in fees? Sure. But let me see here. Overall, I paid an extra $33 of fees and more than doubled my sales and my profits. So, I mean, we, we know it. You know, 
pay to play. It's always been there. It's just a matter of how much you want to pay to play and how much you want in return. And I'm totally okay paying an extra eBay fee of $30 a week if it means I double my profits every week. If something happens again and eBay starts taking a dump on me and I'm, I'm getting 100 to maybe $200 of sales a week and I'm not seeing any benefit, maybe I'll, I'll switch it up again and, and turn off all my promoted. Maybe I'm in the honeymoon phase. You know, there, maybe th there's something possibly to that where, you know, I was off so long a promoted, I turned them back on. And they're like, let's, let's give this guy a round of applause for giving us some more money. Let's give him some sales. And then once we, we, we reintroduce him to the promoted matrix, we cut him off again. And then he starts fiending. Oh, we got to raise those rates again. We got to figure it out again. But no, I, there's no figuring it out. You just, I found the rate that works best for me. 6.1 is a, is a hot ad rate. Um, like I said, I spent last year doing all this stuff and I never went last year without promoting except for the first month of me reselling. So I kind of thought, why not just go back to what was working and stop, stop worrying about, you know, giving it to eBay as much as that was fun to do. Um, and I'm glad a lot of you guys enjoyed my journey, but you know, it's time to move on time to, to get back to what actually works and, uh, doing a lot less work man maintaining the store as far as, you know, the resets and all that stuff, like it gets tiresome worrying about that every day and like doing it and, and doing the entire store and hoping you don't make a mistake. You know, it's so much easier just to do 200 a day. And like today, Sales were so good, I didn't even think about doing the reset. The other thing, too, when it comes to promoted listings is my store, the lights turn right back on. There's so much activity. I've never had so many more messages and offers and offers to send out on a consistent basis. I, I think there was only one. There's one day I had a no sales day. So I don't know what that's about. But I still had... Just think about that too. I had all these sales with a no sales day too. And there's been a couple times, even on days that I do do good, do do, that I do good. And uh, you can just, you, you can feel like it's just not, not humming. There's something right, not right. Um, you know, you're being suppressed or, or whatever. But it's going to come. It's going to come with the, the eBay. Uh, the eBay territory, whether you like it or not. I'm going to cut it off right here. Uh, it's already been long enough. And if you guys um, wouldn't mind hitting that like button, subscribing, uh, leaving a comment below. What are your thoughts on Poshmark? You know, what are your thoughts on any of the, the, the platforms on there? As bad as eBay has been, it is still the king of, of online reselling for us. And anyone that, that thinks differently, uh, let me know what your trick is to, to get the sales. Also, what are your thoughts on uh, me going back into the promoted matrix? You know, some of you are going to be like disappointed, probably. Some of you don't care. Others will say that makes perfect sense. Do what works for you. Uh, it works for us, too. You know, like I said, I, I'm not a, I've never been a anti promoted listings guy, like fully. I mean, there's times during the last couple of months, I've definitely been anti promoted listings, but the, the biggest problem I have with promoted listings is that there's no transparency in how they work. It's literally like rolling dice. You just hope it helps you. And when you get a sale, then you always question like, would I have gotten it anyways if I didn't use promoter listings? So I, I just wish they would break down that barrier a little bit. Maybe give you a little bit more control. Uh, at least kind of show you where your 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 ads, your promoted listings are being placed. Just so you, you have a feel for how they're working. I, I think that's you know what, what me and Carl had talked about once. is like if they were just more 
open and transparent about how promoter listings work, I think people would really like to use them. They would understand them more. They wouldn't feel like it was just a, a cash grab. Because people just don't want to be taken advantage of. That's the biggest thing. If any of you guys also are watching my shorts, the, the main reason I, I put shorts on there, and I, I know some of, them, some of you guys might enjoy some of them, uh, those are my testing videos. I, I test my products and I decide to put them as shorts because it's the easiest way to do it. You add the link into your eBay uh, description. People can check it out if they want to. Uh, gives them extra confidence because the eBay video system does not work. It's a, it's a pile. Don't even bother with that. But the other reason I do it is I've actually picked up a number of subscribers over my time period on, on YouTube uh, doing shorts of just product demonstrations. Uh, I know I've watched a couple other YouTubers that say they've picked up a ton of um, subscribers from shorts. And why not kill two birds with one stone? So if you're wondering why I put those videos out there, it's not like all the products that I put on there. I'm like, wow, I, I can't wait till people see this. It's going to be so amazing. No, it's because, you know, some people do enjoy the, the videos of old tech or toys, that kind of stuff. But it's also demonstration. So there you go. All right, guys, like I always say, all good things must come to an end. And I must end this because it's been way too long. Until next time. Bali Chadhobi. Bali Mangati Kali Ma. Mukti Degi Kali Ma. Kali Ma. Kali Ma. Kali Ma. Shakti De. Bali Chadhau Te Niyage. Nita Karo. Now this is the end of my life.